Yeah, I agree. I, they seem like guitar chords to me. I mean, when you work out the fingering. So the easy version um, from wherever the hell it was, the three notes. sound right to me. I mean, I think they both sound wrong. So. so that's nice. But then the four note version. Very jazzy. In the kind of way that's in the silent way wasn't very jazzy, right? It's easier. To it's harder to do with a pick somehow. But then there's this chord, right? Watch that, watch that. And that's a bar chord across all four. See, see, see? Even though that's a third, not a fourth. And then we just bang these up into the augmented. That's an uh, augmented. Yeah, it's an augmented something or other. No, it's a tritone. Just a tritone. Um, so we went from here, and then we add a note, which I would be easier if I did a different fingering. And then to a bar chord again, that same one that we did here. Isn't that odd how different it is? It doesn't really matter, though. Um, either way, these provide an awful lot of different notes that you might want to introduce into your solo, right? Uh, how to choose them? That's fucking hard. I tried it yesterday. I put this onto the looper. And then you add the bass line. So, and remember, we've got, let's see if I can do that. Uh, looper. So, well, let's try the easier one. through this. It's a three, no, twice through the, these chords, because it's a three-bar loop. And then the bass is a two-bar loop. So the first time we go through, we're going. Then the next time we go through the chords, we're halfway through the bass line. So that brings another question into how do you choose your chords for soloing? It's going to take a bit of practice, isn't it? I wonder how they did it back in the day. Well, anyway. 